Hey, what's going on dudes and welcome back to another Battlefield Live commentary and today we are playing Rush, something I usually do not play on Demavan Peak. I love this map, this map's great for Rush and I always go back to it every once in a while, maybe once a week, two weeks maybe, <laughs> kind of pushing a month this time but still this is a great map. I'm not going to be talking about anything today, I've already got everything off my back and it's all good. And I had a comment in my previous video about somebody was confused about backwards compatibility with my uh, with the PS4 and he thought that you know the PS4 had backwards compatibility and if you do not know PS4 will not have backwards compatibility for discs so if you have a disc it's not gonna work for your PS3 if you want to have the game you had for your PS3 and you love it, I'm pretty sure they said you will be available to buy it on the PlayStation Store, not release day, but sometime. Just like with the like PS1 classics, PS3 classics, you know, stuff like that. I don't know if they'll be called the same thing, but it'll be generally the same idea. So that answers your question, whatever your name is. I don't remember what your name is. So that answers your question for you. Yeah, you guys haven't really seen me play Rush before. It's definitely different. Oh, Sergeant Devil. Yeah. <laughs> I guess he felt like, uh, shoot me. Shoot me. We got some good team. <coughs> Excuse me. This should be a good game. I'm hoping to win, but if we don't win, it's alright. You guys can also tell me in the comment section below what favorite part of Battlefield 4 you're looking forward to because it looks like a great game. One of the things I'm looking forward to is probably oh, ACW. Probably Levolution. That's probably the most awesome thing ever taking down a whole building and stuff like that and my second is tanks because I'm a tank guy you know so I think that they're kind of degrading the tanks in Battlefield 4 that's just my personal opinion that you know everybody has different opinions but I don't think they're doing the right direction for the tanks and other vehicles having Proximity scan for the gunner is the first turn off. I don't agree with that. I mean, limited shells, it's alright. I don't mind it. They should have an upgrade for uh, having like two extra shells or something. I hope they increase it from five to at least seven, at least, because in real life, tanks hold about 40 shells, so that's kind of lowballing it a little, but it's okay. Even the way I saw it was 40 shells. We, you have to go to reload and then you have another 40 shells not five reload real slow you have your shells back and then you start shooting again I don't think that's that's a good way to do it but it's pre-alpha still hopefully they'll change their mind or kind of change it a little I'm kind of hoping they will and I hope I don't die here I mean, if they keep it, I don't know, it's going to really hurt my feelings with the tank. Not with not my actual feelings, but how I feel about tank gameplay in Battle for 4. I know it's going to be great, but if they change it further than how it's changed right now, it's just not going to be a good one for me. It's going to be a game where it's just not fun to have a gunner every single time. You can never ride solo because you always have to have proximity scan to keep you away from those C4 guys and stuff like that and I also would uh, disagree with keeping the power of C4 on BF4 because whenever you, you are in a tank in Battlefield 3 you will get c 4 with one C4 pack disabled excuse me unless you have reactive armor so it's kind of not a good system I don't think that's even possible because I think Unfortunately, they have explosive, um, highly explosive, or no, armor-piercing explosives confused with C4. Now, C4 is not a charge that is designed for pushing through armor, uh, thick armor, like in the front of a tank. I got disabled today from one C4 in the front of the tank. 
and I don't think that's right. I, mean, I could see one in the back, of course, but it, it, it doesn't pierce through armor, or it does, it's not a directed charge. It explodes everywhere. It's not a directed charge. It goes straight into the tank. It goes everywhere, so it's not going to have a direct impact, and I don't think that having that not-so-direct impact should disable a tank with just one C4 pack, two, th maybe, I think it's around three for a destroy. I just don't think it's right. They should really change it. If anybody, if you, I highly doubt there's any developers watching, but if there is, you, I, don't, I just don't think it's the right way to go. Keeping up that power of C4 is too much. But that's my opinion, so. You might have, might have different opinions, and I fully support them, but since I've been driving tanks for so long, that's just the way I see it for driving tanks, because right now, C4 is a little overpowered. Sorry, I gotta get my dog. Oh, sorry about that. He's snoring again. I have a pug. This is like my favorite part of Battlefield for skydiving. And I kind of want to see what they do with uh, spotting animation. I wonder how it's going to work in vehicles or if you're even going to be able to... If it's just going to be like Battlefield 3 where you smash and select or... I don't even know what it is on Xbox. I don't play Xbox. I'm more of a PlayStation guy if you guys didn't know. The Xbox One is, I don't know, I better not say any of my opinions, I can save a video for that, oh, you guys will start getting mad at me if I do that, I just think some of the directions both of the consoles are making, are, they both have their ups and downs, oh, <laughs> died, <coughs> excuse me, let's get the Venom. I love using the Venom and doing like a skydive thing. I wonder if they're going to have um, Chinese, Russian, and American in the online multiplayer of BF4. I've been thinking about that. Because if they do, it's going to be three factions instead of just two. Or is it going to be some maps are Russian or some, map, some maps are Chinese, you know? Like Seas of Shanghai, is that going to only be Chinese or is it Russian? Or, I mean, there's a lot of questions still left for the Battlefield 3 <coughs> team. So hopefully they'll release some more stuff. Not just Levolution, which is awesome, but not just um, the engine. I'm looking forward to more of the game. They haven't showed any of the jets. Any? I know that having a double seat in BF3 was definitely popular. Everybody wanted a double seat yet, so we'll see if Battlefield answers the call that I'd be surprised if they did because a double seater jet would re always require you to have a gunner so you'd have to have a combination of both and the only issue is if you get some guy that has no idea what they're doing, like this guy that just jumped out of the Venom then you're left with no gunner and then you get shot down, that's a perfect example so I think some people are overlooking some of the issues with having a double-seater jet. They're just like, oh, it's awesome, so that's why I want it. It's awesome. And they're not looking at some of the issues that could be with it. And it could be very overpowered. <laughs> oh, dang, I haven't got a kill with this game. 3-6, I'm doing terrible. Too much stock in title play. <laughs> Excuse me again. I think I'll grab a tank, because, you know, I like tank. I was kind of hoping they put in the M1A2 Abrams, but they put in the M1A1 again, so that's what we're going to have. I'm not, I was kind of looking at the Chinese tank, and I was thinking, hmm, kind of looks flimsy. <laughs> Just a little. Wow, I'm doing terrible tonight. 
Oh, looks like I'm dead. And you guys know I'm on my way to 100 surface stars. I cannot wait. I'm going to be recording that. And once I get 100, I'm going to not drive tanks as much. I'll still drive tanks when I need to. I won't be driving tanks every single day, you know, every single game. Oh, jeez, I'm doing terrible. You know, I don't think that driving tanks every single day, every single game is really worth it. And I don't know how Gamia so does it. And I also cannot thank you guys enough for 200 subscribers. That just, wow, 200 people clicked the subscribe button for me. I thank all of you that pushed that like button for me because you enjoyed our videos. Awesome. And I really hope that you guys continue to enjoy our videos and share them with your friends and tell all your friends and be positive because you only have so long. And I just think, wow, just wait till I get 300 because, you know, I was going to look for him. I need very positive. Wow, look at that guy. <laughs> He's on a killing spree. Wow. Oh, is he on a killing spree? He wasn't doing anything. Oh, no. So this is what I'm talking about. You don't have any proximity scan, just reactive armor. I know that you have the UAV for commander mode, but when you think about it, there's not always a UAV available. And you always can't rely on one guy to save your life <laughs> excuse me so I just hope that they I don't know just make proximity scan a driver upgrade because it's gonna make it almost impossible to get that far in tanks because you're always gonna get those C4 trolls that are gonna come up behind you with C4 and you wouldn't know they're there and BAM you're dead and you have no way of knowing. And it's pretty much going to make the tanks. No one's going to want them. Because you're just, just a death trap. Because they don't want to put in proximity scan for gunner. I mean, not for gunner. For a driver. So I, I just hope they change that. We'll go back. Like, if they don't change it, it's going to dramatically lower my Battlefield 4 experience because I'm a vehicle guy, you know, I like vehicles. I'm not a infantry kind of guy. I'm more of a vehicle, you know, pushing up with a vehicle, helping out our team with a huge, uh, big tank. I mean, oh, dang, why does it take so long? Come on, man, come get me. Oh, sorry, guys, I look like an idiot. Dying all these times. 5, 10. Every dog has his day, and today is not my day. And wow, that reminds me of my friend Volvo guy. His dog died, so. I think his name's Bruno. Not German Shepherd. So, good luck to him. It probably sucks when something dies. Especially when it's, especially when it's in Battlefield. <laughs> get a death in here. Wow, well, this is a, oh, a dog tag or something. What? I leveled him. Okay, time for medic. Wow, they have two tanks? I can't be medic. I better got reactive armor because they're both like lined up. So this is what it would be like in Battlefield 4 reactive armor and you guys well know that sometimes you really don't have a gunner from the tank and you're all by yourself or you want to be by yourself because sometimes gunners can be kind of dumb shooting everywhere in circles so having a, a gunner sometimes it's good is a luxury it's not a pretty soon it'll have to be a mandatory thing but, 
won't agree with it. I think bugs I get left. He wanted to join me in this video. So, you can see bugs I get. I think it's bugs I get. What's I get? Or Saget. I don't know. I think you, I don't know. Here we go. Oh, it's not copyrighted. <laughs> it's copyrighted. We're super deep. I can hear it now. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Now they got double the heat. Oh, no, I, I can't grab it by myself. Oh, that guy got some kills with C4. Come on, guard through them, calm. No, no, no. No, no. No, good, dis good disarm. Now there's just one more. And I was kind of thinking if you guys wanted to see, like, for my 200 subscribers, if you wanted to give, like, a giveaway or um, see my setup or, I don't know. You guys can tell me in the comment section below if you're this far into my video. So you can just tell me. Give this and send me a little comment and I will like it to tell you that I read it. And if you're... Um, suggestion is totally out of this world crazy and we'll see but if it's doable I'll consider doing it because you guys are awesome but if it's something crazy because <laughs> some of you guys are got some outlandish ideas mm, I always back up on a chopper whenever you, uh, he's coming toward you I was talking to this guy earlier, uh, two days ago, he said that he thinks the PS4 controller is going to be $300. <laughs> 300 Now, how crazy does that sound? I, would, I don't think I would buy a $300 controller. I could buy a PS Vita for the same price. Oh, gosh. They even hear him. Look at him. Oh, look at that guy. What an idiot. I guess I'll just join someone's squad. New tactic. Tactics. Oh, I've yet to capture me shooting down a chopper with an RPG. I did it once today. One time. It was so lucky. Let me see if I can... Oh. You guys gotta check out um, Jindo72's video. He has a helicopter montage. It's pretty nice. Trust me, I have a terrible time trying to shoot down choppers with our, my RPG. I got one. And I have not shot down... We know. I think I shot down one attack helicopter like forever literally one that's it but i've shot down plenty of things with my tank like uncountable wow those guys are really dug in there god what he's dying oh wow Hopefully we'll win, we'll win, we'll win. Come on, we'll win. We're gonna win, we're gonna win. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Got end up with a good kill. And I did terrible, but it's okay. Oh. That is an awesome game. Well, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate you guys making it this far into the video. And I hope to see you in the next video. And until next time. See ya. And if you guys want to see the final scores, here they are. <laughs>